Welcome to this video guys. Let's see how we can download and install SSMS that is SQL Server Management Studio and how we can connect to SQL Server and manage databases, create tables and all that stuff. So let's get started. First go to this URL. I'll have this link in the description below. Scroll down and you'll see download SSMS. Just click on this and your download will start. Once the download is complete, you'll see this SSMS setup. Now just click on open file and your installation wizard will open. So this is where your SSMS will be installed. If you don't have storage left in C drive, you can just click on change and go to any other directory. So I'll just install it in the default directory and click on install. If you're asked, do you want to allow this app to make changes? Just click on yes. And let's wait till the installation is complete. After a few minutes, the setup is complete. Now you can just close and your SQL server is installed. Let's open SSMS and connect to an SQL server. I'll type SSMS and you will see SQL Server Management Studio. Just click on this. Now, if you had a previous version of SSMS installed, you will get an option to install from, sorry, you will get an option to import from the previous version, but I did not have it. So I'll just click on do not import. Now we have opened our SSMS and you can choose various server types, server name and so on here. Now you can leave these as default and click on connect. If you get this error, it is because of a certificate issue. You can ignore this for now and click on encryption as optional. Click on connect. And now you will see databases here. And here, if I go inside this, as you can see, you'll see some default system databases that are required. And let's say you want to create a database, right? So just click on database here. Click on right click and click on new database. And here you'll get an option to write your database name. Let's say first underscore DB and click on OK. So now you have created your first database. Here you can see tables. And if I open this right now, we have not created any tables. So uh, there are no tables right now. Again, you can right click on tables and click on create new table. And here you can write the column name. Let's say ID and their type can be integer all right so i'll just choose small int and you can click on uh, uh, the row below it and write name and this will be where care all right so this is how you can create a table and once you are done you can just press ctrl s and you have to choose a name for the table so i'll write user click on ok and this table will be saved now if you right click here again and click on refresh as you can see the user table is created so this is how you can create databases and tables and if you want to run a new query you can just click on new query and you can run your sql queries here so if i write if i write show databases and press control enter to run this okay so it's not control enter in this case it's f5 so control enter uh, works in some other cases uh, sorry some other management softwares but in case of SSMS, it seems to be F5, so you can press F5 to execute this. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below.